Sometimes a woman has to make certain sacrifices. Did you spend the night with me on me? Break of the pride? Yeah. How do you wanna go see Santa Claus? Look at me. You ready to go to the pride? You better get out and get your clothes on, eat some breakfast. Santa Claus will be there. Lord Holico. Hey, Miss But Nosy Body. What you doing? Oh, she's crying like a baby. Look, we got a baby again. Oh, there's a Holly. Look, Holly, there's Coco. Because the house looks like a tornado and she's afraid to walk or she'll fall over everything. What'd you say, Holly? <laughs> What'd you say? Say <laughs> again. Holly. Holly. Buttons, are you sweet dog? Buttons. Buttons, say dog biscuit. Dog biscuit. Buttons, say dog biscuit. Dog biscuit.
allergies that one would see with exposure to Christmas trees would be the sneezing or the itchy eyes or the runny nose. <laughs> Some people may, in fact, have more severe nasal sprays or effective. Uh, there are antihistamines that you can use depending on the primary symptoms. There are even some new eye drops that uh, one can put in the eyes. One, two, three. People have recurrent problems around Christmas time or around Christmas trees, then they should probably see a physician, he or she can prescribe medications that would potentially eliminate those problems in the future so it could make it a much more pleasant season. And here's a story that I can personally relate to. New numbers are proving that many women are having babies later in life. The Centers for Disease Control report in the last decade, the annual birth rate for women between 30 and 34 has increased dramatically. The number of first births for women over 30 has increased from 56,000 in 1970 to a quarter million today. The trend bodes well for both the health of the mother and child. Older mothers are more likely than younger ones to have a college education and a job, to eat right, and to get prenatal care beginning in the first trimester. Still ahead, Soviets and Americans meet. <laughs>